Hey guys, so Teresa Dell here. November 1st, 2023. Yay, first day of November. Welcome November. Anyway, so what I'm doing, I wanted to share with you. Um, this orchard is behind my daughter's house. And these are rollers, okay? They're like these little cage rollers. Look real close at the design. The nut weasels. They're called nut weasels. <laughs> anyway, anyway, they sell them at hardware stores like Ace Hardware, especially in the farming communities. They have this size and they have one that's a little bit rounder. Um, but anyway, so see what they do. Watch these walnuts disappear. Watch. <laughs> you gotta do the sound effects. <laughs> anyway, so. We're out gathering these walnuts because once they're harvested, some still stay on the tree. And there's usually quite a lot, look at that, that you could harvest. But raking and scooping, no matter how big your shovel, if you're using a snow shovel to scoop them up, whatever, is a lot of bending and scooping. And what's so super cool about these rollers, these nut weasels, <laughs> I've got to say it again, is is that look at they pop right in there and then when you go back to your collection barrel or trailer or whatever you're using this handle right here let's look at that this handle right here you pull it up it opens the cage up and you shake them out there's like not any scooping raking shoveling at all and saves a lot the, the first year out here uh-huh uh, by hand, half of it, and then one roller, the other half in hand, we pick up 3,400 pounds. Yeah, so what, if you heard that, what she was saying was that the first year they did this, before they learned about the nut weasels. <laughs> anyway, before they learned about the nut weasels, 3,500 pounds they collected by hand. Okay, so they learned the hard way, and then they discovered sharing it with you. Well, this one's called Weasel. Weasel Large Nut Gatherer. <laughs> Isn't that fun? And there they are again. See, watch. Watch the walnuts disappear. Boom. Boom. Whoops. I'm getting pretty full. There they are. See? Took them up. Isn't that the neatest thing? So, if you know anybody who says, come over and help harvest walnuts, you can keep all you pig, la, 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 la. Just remember, show up with a couple of these, okay? And you won't, and, and you won't need a massage afterwards, unless you want one, right? But anyway, so yeah. These are like the coolest things. They're about, what, 30 bucks? 35, 40 dollars, but I tell you what, they're worth every penny. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and we're walking it over here. We're going to gather a few nuts along the way. All right. And so we're going over here and we're going to spill them. Daddy, can you help me spill them so I can hold the phone? Anyway, so she's going to help me here. So yeah, this make sure is, you have no leaves in holes because the cleaner the nuts, the more expensive they Yes, do, the, the cleaner the nuts, do. the more money you get. <laughs> they like clean nuts. So, the, the, so this is, okay, so, so you push down. I'm sorry, I said you pull up on the handle. You push down. It's not like I haven't used these before. I have. And see, that spreads the wire and the nuts come out. All right? Now that beats the hack out of having to rake and rake and rake and rake and pick shovel and pick see with these things what's super neat is most of the leaves and stems and undersized walnuts will fall out so what you're actually collecting are the very mature watch little so let's go over a pile of leaves in here look at that okay so they're hanging on there but watch them fall out see isn't that the coolest thing here's some walnuts here we go Fresh new cage. See? So I just, you know, I, I'm I'm kind of simple when it comes to day-to-day -to -day stuff. I mean, you know, it doesn't really take much to entertain me. I mean, I like to do really cool stuff, but when it comes down to it, it doesn't... Obviously, I'm laughing about this. It really doesn't take a whole lot to entertain me. Anyway, so here we go. This is your... 
this is your introduction to hand harvesting walnuts with simplicity using the weasel nut gatherer. <laughs> okay, so you all guys have a beautiful month. I might, I'm sure I'm going to pop some more videos in here, but I just thought this in the harvest, you know, video was a must do. All right, y'all take care now. We'll see you. Bye. Okay, so look at this. Just shook out our baskets again. Look at all those walnuts. How many gallons is this tub? I this, don't know, but it's probably about... 25 gallons? Oh, that's probably about 70 pounds of Probably walnuts. about 70 pounds of walnut at 70 Six, cents. Mm -hmm. 70 cents a pound. All right. We've only been out here maybe an hour at the most in this orchard collecting um, what was left behind after the the shaking the trees were shaken and harvested so it's pretty cool anyway so that's it all right whole lot of fun i think we're going to roll these a couple more times and top off that barrel and then we're going to cut up some fallen trees there's some walnut trees that died in our fall and you can pulled see up. some over here have pulled up or have been pulled up so we're going to go ahead and greta's going to cut the root the root ball second. off She's going to cut the root root ball off and we're going to hack it up and get some, some uh, firewood off of these for the fireplace. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so November 1st, what a fun way to spend it, right? Why not? Y'all take care. Bye. So there, that's what's happening now. Stripping down some fallen walnut trees and um, some of them are dry. So she's cutting off the branches and we're going to just stack them on the trailer over here where the generator is and uh, then cut them up smaller back at the house and use them for firewood so she'll be leaving the root balls behind and probably some of them might come through the tr truck and and mulch them maybe you know chop put them in the chopper not real sure but we're going to go ahead and do this right here that's kind of cool anyway yeah it's that time of year it's that time of year to be grabbing all the wood that's out there when you have fireplaces. Anyway, okay, so that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> it gets kind of crazy out in the country. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so the trusty generator is going right here. We have this tree that was a fallen tree and cut up. So now this little one over here is next. And then we have one that's a bit bigger. So basically, What's happening is the big branches are being cut off and cut down. They'll be cut into smaller pieces closer to the house. And we're leaving the root ball, as we said, as I said in the other video, um, there's no need for it. It's still wet. But these trees are going to be really handy for firewood, you know, um, for starter especially. They'll be drying out really quick all the way. Some, a couple of them are already dead. These still have a little greenery to them, but they'll die back quickly, especially when they're cut down to smaller sizes. So anyway, um, collecting walnuts, cutting up some fallen trees for wood, you know, it's just kind of a nice way to spend the first day of November, you know, going out and doing this kind of stuff. Anyhow, there it is. And final video in this series. <laughs> so this is... Okay, so if you look, she got some um, small fallen trees and cut them up. So there's some good kindling, some smaller ones that could be cut, cut up and dried for firewood. And so that's pretty nice. Not bad at all. Okay, so that's the end of the trail today. That?